guys, welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and tonight I am coming to you with a package. Now, this package comes from the company Macting, M A C T I N G. This was sent to me to do a review on. So they obviously emailed me and asked, could they send me something to review? And I was like, sure, send it over. You know, what I normally say. So they sent it to me. I got it within a couple of days of them uh, asking. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many days, not that it matters. I didn't, it came from Amazon. Um, it is Prime eligible. It is an 11 piece set. So I'm going to get into it to see exactly what all is in here. I did pre-open it because I wanted to see if I was getting the right item, which again, y'all don't need to see my address, get that out of here. So this is how it came. This is the box it came in. And again, I slit that part open, so I'm not struggling with it because I know how much you guys love to see me struggle. So let's see what we have, right? Right. Okay. So when I open the box, don't start shaking when you got Parkinson. Stop it. All right, so when I open the box, I have this drill pin, and it has a squishy and a tilted six-placer. I also have a straightener, a nine-placer, and a three-placer in this little baggie. I have a pair of tilted tweezers, which come in this container thing. I get a jumbo white boat, which if you order these on... If you wanted a bigger boat, but you didn't want to wait for the slow boat to bring it to you, they have them on Amazon with this kit. I have a power cord for something. Uh, I also have, oh snap, oh jeez. I have clamps. Green boat, no funnel, it's basic, those basic. And then I have this. Apparently some assembly required. Um... I think I know how this goes. Hold on. Let me just see if I can get this together. If I can get this together, you can get this together. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe? Okay. Does that go in there? You just kind of push those down in there. And that's just a stand of some sort. And then it has some instructions. And this is for a light pad. Oh, sweet. So, okay. We got, you know, I don't care about no box instructions. Nobody reads the instructions. So we have an A4 light pad. Get, get, get that off there. Uh... It looks to be good quality, but we're going to test that out because you guys know I've had quite a few light pads and I'm pretty hard on them apparently. So I'm going to guess this goes in here like this, which is pretty cool. We're going to... Okay. And then you have clamps for clamping onto your uh, diamond painting. And we're going to test this light pad out because... Again, I'm rough on light pads, apparently, because every time I get one, they break. So they either don't like me or I'm super duper rough on them. So we're going to plug this in quick. Let me see if I have an available outlet. If I don't, I'll make one. So talk amongst yourselves while I plug this in real quick. Ooh, okay. So I do like that. So when you plug it up, this little light comes on down there. Let's see. That's going to be super bright for you guys. So we're going to get rid of the stand. We're going to lay it flat. Whoa. Okay, it went off by itself. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Let's try this out. Oh. Okay, maybe we should read those instructions. <laughs> okay. Handle the carriage. Flicker free. Thin, portable, ultra lightweight design.
Whoa, okay. So the brightness does adjust. And it's one tap, tap. Okay, it's one tap, tap on. So you don't have to press it super. I'm trying not to blind you guys because I'm blinded. It's one tap, tap on. One tap, tap off. Has the blue indicator light here to let you know that it is on and working so that you know if your power cord is working or not. You press and hold to adjust the lighting. That actually seems like a pretty decent light pad. Alright, so let's see. So we got the light pad and the cord. We got the two clamps to clamp on to our diamond paintings. We got a green boat with no funnel. Basic boat. Y'all don't care about that one. Uh, but I'll show you something cool with that green boat later this week. Uh, we have the big white tray that everybody loves so much. We have a drill pen, which is the pink drill pen with the tilted six placer. And it looks like this might be also a tilted nine placer. That's a straightener. That looks pretty straight. The three placer is regular three placer. And the nine placer is, it's tilted a little bit. Yep, it's tilted. So we have two tilted, which I don't have any tilted ones, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this also has a squishy on it, but the squishy looks like it's seen better days. It looks like it had a rough week and it's ready for the weekend. Um, but yeah, and then you get the tweezers that come in most kits but i'm gonna open these up because i want to see if they're decent quality tweezers or if they're those crappy tweezers that you can get off any ordinary website now they're a little bit better quality they're still flimsy but they they don't feel as oh i got a tray of drills right here Yeah, they don't feel as flimsy as the ones you would normally get from, like, AliExpress or something. So, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's try picking up more than two drills. Let's shake this out a little bit. I mean, they're not the best in quality tweezers, but they're, yeah, they're decent tweezers. How many can we, oh, you gotta stop messing them up. Oh, no. Oh, I got four. Yay. All right. No. no. <laughs> All right. So, overall, you get 11 items. You get your light pad, which I keep turning on. You get your tweezers. You get your cord. That's three. Pen with the six-placer. I guess that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I just wanted to pop back in real quick. I forgot the stand. <laughs> so, you get the stand... Which, obviously, is going to be nice to put that on. You got your clamps. You got your multi-placers. This is an all-in-one set for if you're new to diamond painting and you want some cool accessories to go with your diamond painting. This is an all-in-one set. Like, this is going to be something that, if you're, if you're newer, it's going to be something pretty cool for you to have so that you can get started with diamond painting. And it comes with clamps tweezers, drill pens with multi-placers, light pad, and it looks like a pretty decent quality light pad. Like, I don't feel like this is flimsy at all. Like, it, it's thicker than the ones I've had before, and that back feels a lot better. It doesn't feel cheap or flimsy, so, yeah. Either way, go back, go back to what you were doing. Okay, so I'm guessing the pen and the placer is all in one or something. Either way, it's an 11-piece a diamond painting set that you can get from Amazon. It is Prime available. It is $22.99 on Amazon. So if this looks like something that might interest you, I mean, I don't have clips and this would have been super handy for K Rico Science, just saying. But I know a lot of people clip their diamond painting to their light pad. So these are gonna come in super handy. Or if I have a bag of chips that I'm eating while I'm working, yeah, handy. Uh, the green boat, People, a lot of times, don't use the green boat, except for, again, I'm going to show you something cool with that later on this week. It is pretty cool to have the tilted nine and six placer, and you also get a six placer straightener. 
And I know that's a six straightener because I sold straighteners. Uh, you also get the nice big boat, which I have one, but it is nice to have a second one just in case. So I now have two of the big white boats, which one came with the kit. I do like the fact that the light pad has the blue indicator light on it. I do like the fact that it's super duper bright. Let's go. I like that. I like how it zooms in and out to go off. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so this kit was sent to me to review. I think it's a pretty legit kit. Uh, would I purchase this if I didn't already have it and I was new to diamond painting or something? I definitely would. Because the tilted placers are just a very nice bonus to have for those who are learning how to do uh, the multi-placers. Because you're not having to do it straight up and down. You can do it at an angle so you can see where your diamonds are going. I'll do some testing on this this week. Matter of fact, I'll probably do some testing on this later on this evening. Um, so yeah. So the tweezers aren't the best quality, but they are decent tweezers. They're not as flimsy and like I don't feel like I'm going to blow them and they'll bend in half. The clamps are a really nice addition. You got a nice sturdy power cord here. Uh, my biggest worry is usually with the power cords is this piece right here. But it looks like it's reinforced. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue later on down the road or not. Because the other ones I got were just plain LED. Uh, they were just plain LED cords. Whereas this one has the enforcer right at the tip of where it meets the USB part. So I'm not sure if you're going to have the same issue like I normally would because this is usually the part that gives me issue whenever I have light pads because it ends up being bent somehow. But it's a pretty sturdy cord, so I will give them that. So yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty legit kit. So if you would like your own 11-piece kit, and they do offer more than just this 11-piece. They have quite a few of them on there, but I'm going to make you go check them out. I will link them down in the description box below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this kit, if you have this kit and have any feedback for me, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you to hear what you have to say. Other than that, that's it for me, folks. I guess I will see you guys later on today. If you didn't already know, I am going to have a premiere this evening, 5 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, which is like 4 p.m. my time. So be there or be square. And as always, folks, remember, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.